Hey guys, Harrison Winner, I'm back at it once again with a brand new video for you. Now, um, this is a video where I was even debating whether I wanted to upload or not. And you know, it's, it's weird because it's a controversial subject, especially in the world of sport recently. And I'm not sure how this is how this is going to go down or how it's going to be reacted because I think everybody's going to have their own very unique view of this. And I think people are going to be biased depending on their, their skin colour or the club they support. So this, 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 this could be a very, very interesting video. But I'm going to see how it goes anyway. Um, gameplay is kind of irrelevant on this one. It's, this, this, this is more of a commentary that uh, I felt like recording because it's an interesting subject and I want to see how you guys take it. So if you're not into football, let, allow me to explain quickly. Two football clubs in England, very popular, Manchester United, probably the world's most popular football club, and Liverpool, again, very, very popular football club. One of their star players, Luis Suarez, um, during a game against Manchester United, Luis Suarez, who's from Uruguay, so you could say he's kind of Hispanic, um, got into a uh, small argument with a Manchester United player known as Patrice Evra. Uh, he plays he plays as a left back and he, he's, he's black and um, was born in France. Um, they get into an argument. Evra complains to the referee that Suarez has insulted him racially, and there was a there was a minor argument when these two teams played each other earlier this season. I think it was back in uh, December. Um, now, instead of this being swept under the carpet, which most of these things tend to do, it was put to the FA, and uh, the FA was um, had 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 Suarez and Evera under a trial. Got evidence. Suarez admitted that he called Patrice Evera a uh, little black boy in Spanish, and as a result, Luis Suarez was was banned for eight games. Um, no real hard evidence for it, but because it was in you know, a word of mouth, and Suarez kind of admitted it anyway. He was given an eight-game suspension, which is big for the Premier League. I mean, if you get a red card and get sent off straight away, you get a three-game ban most of the time, unless it's a really bad incident. It, Blue Suarez got banned for eight games. In fact, it ended up being nine because he got an extra game added on for uh, putting a finger at Fulham fans, I think it was, you know, the middle finger. Now, this obviously sparked a whole debate and talk about racism in football and many famous figures on the sport commented and had their own take on it and obviously it made national it made national news because it was such a big deal that oh my god we're getting racism in football again and very shortly after that John Terry uh, a Chelsea player um, was seen verbally on Sky Sports cameras shouting to Anton Ferdinand and I quote Pardon my language, you fucking black bastard. Now, this is something that has gone to court, an actual court of law, not just the FA. And uh, Terry could be found, you know, given a two and a half thousand pound fine, which is not a big deal really at all. You can't go to prison for something like this. If anything, it was it was just a slap on the wrist. But it's not going to be truly resolved until after this year's European Championships. So the controversy there was that the FA, as a result, have gone with the whole um, probably guilty until proven innocent approach and sacked Terry as England captain. This caused Fabio Capello, England manager, to be very upset by this and ultimately resign his, from his post early. I mean, his contract was meant to expire after Euro 2012 anyway. You know, so it was going to be his last major England shift. But um, he walked away early, so Capello kind of took the whole I'm going to jump before I'm pushed idea and moved along. I so, said, I mean, after the, the trial, the FA will step in and I'm sure they'll come up with their own punishment for Terry because there's actual proof Terry has been racist. Now, here's where things get interesting. Liverpool played Manchester United again in the league this past Saturday. And... Before, I guess you guys don't know. Before every Premier League football game, the away team runs down the, you know, walks down the home team's starting eleven and shakes hands with every player. When Suarez came, or so whenever came along, he was staying there while Suarez was coming down the line. Suarez refused to shake Patrice Evra's hand. 
Now, this was an interesting one because, again, Ever made a big deal out of it by grabbing his hand and you know, moving on. But, but yet, despite the fact Ever, um, Suarez has said these things and done this, he still shook Valencia's hand, another black guy from Colombia, and Danny Welbeck, a, a black guy from England. So clearly Suarez hasn't got an issue with those guys, but he's got an issue with Ever of some kind. Um, which, again, I think was very, very poor sportsmanship. And just generally really really you know lame and, and you know it's just one of those things you just don't do when you've already got heat for being a racist and you know saying racist things it's just it's just not a smart move because it makes you it makes you look even worse and you stand out even more now Manchester United would go on to win the game 2-1 and at the end of the game um Patrice Evra celebrated by jumping up and down with his arms stretched out in quite a manner um, it's, 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 it's interesting because many guys have also criticised Patrice Evra for over celebrating and basically rubbing it in Suarez's face because he looks just as bad now um, the whole thing it's a very interesting thing because it's, it's, it's just racism in football again and racism in football hasn't really been this prolific in about 25 years I'd say Back in the days when John Barnes was playing for Liverpool, and the famous picture of him trying to throw, you know, him having, him having to throw a banana skin off the pitch because Liverpool fans are calling him monkey. I think what the whole Terry Suarez thing has done is that it's exposed that racism is still very prolific in football, even in 2012. I mean, a famous um, former footballer who's been getting quite a lot of abuse for it is Stan Collymore. He used to play for Liverpool and he's a black guy. Those guys who don't know and if you look on his Twitter account and you look in his favourites and you see the racist abuse he's, he's, he's received over the past few months because he's spoken out very very strongly about this incident and in the whole situation and how it's developed there's a whole lot of white Liverpool fans calling him nigger and, and, and being extremely rude and abusive because he's defending Patrice Evra. Because what Suarez did was flat out wrong, okay? Again, it's kind of word of mouth, but if Suarez admitted it, obviously he must have done something wrong. Now, how do I see it? I see it as there's just generally a problem with racism in football. The problem is it's now gone under the radar and been quiet. I think many Liverpool fans and many football fans in general I'm not going to paint every Liverpool fan under, under the same brush here because that's unfair but what I will say is that fans are getting away with it and because it's quieter now you don't you don't hear the chance of like monkey in the crowd anymore because that would be, be dumb it would get you thrown out and it would get you banned from stadiums for years it's just so unfortunate now that it's even worse now because it's quiet it goes under the radar it's not really picked up and it can't help but feel as if the whole Suarez thing was a was a freak moment, a freak incident, and the Terry thing was a freak incident because this this is the kind of thing that that, that hasn't been reported or picked up on for years and years. It's a very unfortunate situation because it makes everybody look worse. It makes Liverpool look bad as a football club. Because I know Liverpool fans aren't generally that bad. They're very they're extremely passionate and dedicated to their football club. And again, it's unfair to paint every Liverpool fan under the same brush, but many of them have been extremely abusive during this time because they see their football club as more important than the players on the pitch and the players' beliefs and general morals, you know, period. Uh, and, uh, you know, being racist and, and because, like, oh, they put their football club first rather than, you know, being, you know, morally correct and, you know, abusing a guy for the colour of his skin. It's 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 terrible. Now Suarez has gone out and apologized on Twitter after um, refusing to shake Evra's hand and I think one of the biggest problems also behind this is Kenny Dalgleish, the Liverpool manager who has not come out with one criticizing word to Suarez and has constantly tried to defend him, which is really bizarre. Um, I mean, he blamed Sky for the whole handshake incident, and basically, I think he's one of those guys who's who's in a bit of an apologist towards Suarez, who's like, oh, it's not a big deal, and the media are making it worse than what it actually is. 
Doug Leach, the guy was racist during a football game in front of 60,000 people watching. And, you know, Evra, you know, you might, you might say Evra's got a part to play in it too for, you know, over-celebrating. But to be honest, if I was in the same situation as Patrice Evra and I was celebrating with my arms up in the air after winning a big game, I'd be hyped up too. I can't begin to imagine the amount of abuse that Patrice Evra has had to go through these past few months purely because he was the victim of a racist attack and Liverpool fans would rather defend their best player than be morally accepting of the fact that Suarez is, is not a very nice guy and a bad example for football. But they'd rather just, you know, defend him. And, and it, that's that's quite horrible. And that's quite sad that, that people have to go to that extent. Now I've been talking for about 11 minutes now. And I want to leave it so that you guys can get in here and have a discussion. And, you know, please don't be rude or abusive in the comments. And, and you know... Be respectful, please. I, I really encourage this. Um, if you have a say, please, I encourage it. Comment below. If you like my point of view, like the video. Comment below if you, if you have an idea on this. But all I'm going to say is this. I really hope we, we can just kick racism out of football. Because what's going on right now is disgraceful. And it, it doesn't need to be in what is an amazing sport. A sport that I love very dearly. But as, as, as a black guy who sees this racist abuse going around... It, it, it makes me lose confidence in the sport that I love and the, and the way it's operated and run, which is sad because I don't want to see the beautiful game turn into something like this, which, you know, people hurling abuse at each other and, you know, being racist under the tones and getting away with it. It's, it's, it's sad and I don't think it needs to happen. I hope you enjoyed the video, though. I've been Andre Harrison. Thank you very much for watching. And Sayonara.